So in this video we shall learn the uh, method of uh, solving problems on integration by a method called as substitution method. And in fact uh, we will also be solving the NCIT exercise number 7.2 and in this video I have taken first three problems, problems 1, 2, 3. And before that I would like to discuss few basic things of the substitution method of integration. Note, in problems of integration by the method of substitution, if f dash of x dx is a factor of the integrand, then make the substitution as f of x equals t and differentiate f of x. If you differentiate f of x, you get f dash of x dx equals dt. You put f of x equals t and differentiate with respect to x. The left hand side becomes f dash of x and if you differentiate t with respect to x then it becomes dt over dx. t is differentiated with respect to x or this can be cross multiplied and written as f dash of x dx is equal to dt. This f dash of x dx equals dt. You can call it as the replacement factor. In problems on integration you have to just look first examine or inspect that you get f dash of x dx is equal to dt then only substitution method will work otherwise substitution method will become a failure now I will be illustrating how we go for the substitution of f dash of x dx is equal to dt in several problems okay but before that see here if the factor is secant square x dx then put tan x equals t Supposing you have a problem to integrate, where you have secant square x dx as one of the components, it's present in the problem as a factor, then put tan x equals t. If it is e power x dx, put e power x equals t. If 1 by x dx is present in the problem, then you put log x equals t. If 1 by root of 1 minus x square dx is present in the problem, then the substitution is you put sin inverse x equals t. And if 1 by 1 plus x square dx is present in the problem, put tan inverse x as c. If you see x dx as a component of the problem, then you put x square plus some constant is equal to t. See what I mean to say is that say you have a problem like integral x dx divided by 1 plus x square. Okay, so you see that x dx is present in the problem. x dx is present in the problem. So what you will do is put x square plus k equals c. You have to just look into the problem. The problem will necessarily consist of a x square term. So this is x square plus some constant. The constant in this case is 1. Put it as equal to t. So now you differentiate. If you differentiate x square, it is 2x equals dt by dx. Because differential coefficient of 1 is 0. Now you get 2x dx equals dt cross multiply and take the value of x dx x dx becomes equal to dt by 2 so now in the problem you can replace x dx by dt by 2 and this dt by 2 is called as the replacement factor for x dx so if you have a replacement factor then only the method of integration by substitution will work out otherwise you have to look it to for some other method okay <coughs> so here I have first three problems from exercise 7.2 and all the problems are based on the method of substitution. So in this exercise, problems that are given in exercise number 7.2 will illustrate us how to use the method of substitution for integration. Okay, so let's begin with the first problem. Integrate the following functions i equals 2x by 1 plus x square. This is the given integrand. Let us write it like this. Let i be equal to integral 2x by 1 plus x square into dx. The moment you write integral sign, you have to write dx symbol. Okay. Now, the problem has got x dx. x dx. So, you have to put x square plus k equals t. So, put this denominator x square plus 1 equals t and differentiating with respect to x this is the symbol that I have used to write differentiate with respect to x the 
therefore when we differentiate this is 2x plus differential coefficient of 1 is 0 equals dt by dx now cross multiply 2x dx equals dt see in the problem I have 2x dx here in the numerator which can be changed by dt therefore this implies i equals integral 2x dx can be replaced by dt divided by 1 plus x square you had put this x square plus 1 or 1 plus x square as t ok so the problem reduces to the form integral dt by t and you know that integration of integration of 1 by x dx is log x in the earlier videos we have learnt that integration of in 1 by x dx is log x in the same way integration of 1 by t dt see this is 1 over t dt should be equal to log t so what can I write here therefore i equals logarithm of t plus the constant of integration the moment you perform integration you should start adding the constant of integration and the last step is i equals logarithm of t what you had put t as x squared plus 1 so put that there in place of t x squared plus 1 of course with the base t plus c so this is the answer of the integration ok so here you have to check whether you can uh, you have a replacement factor so that you can make substitution and make use of the method of uh, substitution method ok that's good second problem as usual call it as let i be equal to integral log x square by x into dx see if you observe this problem it is like this integral log x square into 1 by x dx this is 1 over x into dx and this problem has 1 by x dx as a factor see here 1 by x dx is a factor so what is the substitution put log x equals t you have to just look into the problem first and see you you are able to write it so that you get the factor that you are looking for for substitution so put you have 1 by x dx is there ok so you put log x is equal to t then differentiating with respect to x if you differentiate log x you get 1 by x equals dt by dx or 1 by x dx is equal to dt arranging cross multiplying and arranging so 1 by x dx can be replaced by dt therefore i equals integral now see log x square you yeah, have put log x as t so this becomes t square into 1 by x dx 1 by x dx got replaced by dt so I call that as the replacement factor dt is the replacement factor for 1 by x dx so now you can use the rule of integration the power rule because it is t to the power of 2 it is t to the power of 2 plus 1 that is 3 by 3 plus the constant of integration or i equals now substitute for t whatever you have put earlier you had put t as log x so this is log x whole cube to the base t divided by 3 plus c and that is the answer ok now the third problem let me just clear this problem also the third problem is let i be equal to integral this is the problem 1 over x plus x log x into dx the moment you put integral sign you should write dx symbol ok now <coughs> if you look at the list here straight away there is no match here hmm? but you can always take x as a common factor in the denominator that is an immediate, Im immediate intuitive step uh, so it is 1 over x into 1 plus log x dx 
and you can write this as integral 1 over 1 plus log x into 1 over x dx so that you can now see the presence of 1 by x dx as a factor in the problem 1 by x dx so automatically now we have to put log x equals t or even you can put 1 plus log x is equal to t because 1 plus log x is a total component so what I do is put 1 plus log x equals t because when you differentiate 1 you are getting 0 so that's not going to make any difference so it is 0 plus 1 by x dx equals dt you see I have shifted dx on the left hand side cross multiply so what is the replacement for 1 by x dx it is dt therefore what happens to the problem problem becomes i equals integral 1 over this 1 plus log x is t into this 1 by x dx is dt so you get 1 by t into dt and what is the differential coefficient of 1 by t dt it is logarithm of t logarithm of t to the base t so i equals log of and what have what you have put for t as t is 1 plus log x log of 1 plus log x to the base e plus c so that is going to be the answer for this problem okay yeah. so i want you to just make this list get memorized if you observe these things in the problem then this is these are the respective no substitutions okay